Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great weekend. So today I wanted to talk about something that's kind of a non-well-known feature inside of Farming Simulator 2022. And it's a way to actually drive the machines. This is going to be more beneficial for people that are running a steering wheel. It can be used on just a normal PC or a console with a, a, a controller but you're not going to see as good of benefits without having the steering wheel. I have the New Holland W190D out. This is a very similar machine to what I run every day because I do run a construction and I do a lot of snow plowing. My machine is a 2020 Volvo L70H front end loader and I just learned how to use this technology and really get good with it on Monday. We got a lot of snow on Monday. Uh, we were out plowing for 26 hours, and the last 16, I was running nonstop. Uh, no time for bathroom breaks, no time for eating. And I figured it out about eight hours into that 16 hour stint. So about halfway, my knees were killing me. I couldn't figure out why. And my knees actually started hurting so bad I actually had to stop and get out in between waiting for a round of trucks and so I stepped out onto this step and my knees were so messed up I actually almost fell out of my loader and onto the ground so that was bad uh, we had 20 loaders going and about 18 dump trucks going at that time so one of the other guys by me running a loader <laughs> obviously almost watched me fall off of my loader and he was like, you're not using OptiShift, are you? It's like, what is OptiShift? So after running this technology, it's called Reverse by Braking. Volvo's trade name for it is called OptiShift. And it is so much better running machines like this using the Reverse by Braking system than using the standard setup we have in FNS22. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here. This machine is very similar to my Volvo. Notice you have a left brake pedal, right gas pedal, and then you have the, on the right joystick control for the arm in the bucket, you have FNR, that's your gear selector. So if I fire this machine up, and I am running the standard controls right now, or layout for driving. So the way everyone has been doing it, especially with steering wheels, is you're using the gas to accelerate, then you use the brake hold the brake down to go into reverse and then you have to hold that brake down the entire time that you're in reverse. For people using steering wheels, some of the newer steering wheels that have kind of gotten more tuned for racing games like Forza or F1, the brake pedal has gotten a lot stiffer than it used to be. And I have a Logitech G923 which is the new version of the G920 slash G29, and it, at the same thing, the brake pedal is very, very stiff. So it's actually very taxing to hold that brake pedal down and be in reverse. So I'm gonna show you how quickly it is to, or quickly show you how easy it is to set up reverse by braking in game. You need to go to two different setting screens, and I'll kind of show you what the differences are. So first we're gonna go into the game settings, and we're going to scroll down a little bit and you see we have stop and go braking turned on. That's what I was just talking about. Keep the brake button held down to brake and automatically start reversing once you have come to a standstill. We are going to leave that on. I just want to let you know that that option is there. So then we're going to go into general settings and we are going to, where is it? We're gonna come down to gear shift mode. This is how the transmission works. We're gonna leave this in the automatic setting. We don't wanna be manually shifting this machine. However, direction change, we're gonna switch this to manual. So what this means is we actually have to activate a button to change from forward to reverse. This direction change is not the same that you're gonna see here, because if we go down to vehicle driving, you're gonna see change driving direction. This is not the same thing. Change driving direction is for the two tractors that have the operator station that can be rotated 180 degrees. So you're either looking forward or backwards in the machine, kind of like a backhoe. What we're gonna go down and change now is gonna be in the vehicle gearbox menu. So right here, vehicle gearbox, we're gonna go down. 
we have change direction and I already have it set up to a button on my X56 Rhino stick. So now that we have that done, on the bottom right hand side of the screen, you're gonna see there's the drive neutral and reverse selector uh, on the HUD. I'm currently in drive, so now if I click that button, I'm in reverse, back to drive, back to reverse. So what does this mean for steering wheel users? What this means is you no longer need to use the brake pedal. If I start driving and I hold the gas down and I click into reverse, the machine is automatically going to brake for me and then automatically go into reverse. Same thing, if I switch into drive, it's going to automatically apply the brakes and then start accelerating forward. So I never have to come off that throttle and I don't have to use my left foot at all. So it's going to be really weird for you at first to try and figure this out because the more you have the accelerator pressed down, the harder it's going to brake. So you do have to kind of adjust your pressure on your accelerator pedal or your gas pedal. But once you get used to it, it is so easy to run machines. I can come right into the pile, not pull my foot off the gas, pick up the bucket load. And the only time you really need to let off the gas or adjust it is just for the dumping. But once you get it going, you can actually get it in reverse, back up, come back down, click into forward. You're instantly going forward. As soon as you get your pile into reverse, instantly backing up. And they call this cycle time. So each, it's the amount of time it takes to get from one bucket in to the next in the dump truck. This incredibly sped up my cycle times. It got to the point where I was watching another operator that was by me. He was not using the OptiShift because he had an older loader and he didn't have it installed on his machine. I was easily doing two buckets to his one because I don't have to waste the time in the movement and exerting all that energy going from the, the gas to the brake, switching into reverse, switching into forward. I can just click that button and I'm back in business. So it's great for wheel loaders, but there's some other advantages to it as well. So one of the other nice advantages here, I'm not gonna keep loading this dump truck, is this can be used with any kind of tractor in the game, even the trucks. So if you were plowing a field or spraying a field, maybe you have your, oh, let's put the uh, cruise control down to about six or seven miles an hour is pretty common. You can leave the speed or cruise control engaged and still be able to change gears and not even have to touch the throttle or the gas. So you can actually drive around in cruise control and do everything you want without having to actually touch the pedals. So if I was like spraying, you know, come up here, turn my sprayer off, you need to go forward, and I can click into reverse, I've still got cruise control engaged, get lined up, hit it again, turn my sprayer back on, and I just made a tight 90 degree corner, and I'm still working. So it is really nice once you get used to it. Like I said, you there might be times where you are still getting used to the amount of uh, throttle you need to use to actually activate the service brakes. So you might hit some stuff. But again, for steering wheel users, this is something that I highly encourage you guys to check out. It's a little different, but once you get used to it, it is a total game changer. So again, that's called reverse by braking. Volvo calls it OptiShift. I just wanted to quickly give you guys a demonstration of how it works and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks, we'll see you later.